Are there any bills for introduction? There are no bills for introduction. The House then comes to questions for oral answer. And the first question stands in the name of the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What progress is the government making in its infrastructure investment programme? The Honourable Billings. Mr Speaker, uh, over the last four budgets, the government has directly invested more than $5 billion in, in ultra-fast broadband hospital schools, rails and roads. The planned spend over the next four years is around $18 billion, in part to be paid from the Future Investment Fund. Uh, the government has set out to give businesses more certainty and confidence about infrastructure provision. And, so, and last year we released a second national infrastructure plan which is improving planning and decision-making processes around infrastructure investment. Uh, the Mr. Honourable Speaker, Dr Nick Smith. How will infrastructure and investment in those key areas like the electricity grid, the ultra-fast broadband, the electrifying rail and its turnaround programme, the upgrade of state highways and new water projects contribute to the government's broader priorities in such a tight fiscal environment? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, despite the tight fiscal environment, uh, the government has laid out a, a seven to ten year programme of investment and most of the funding for that investment is locked in. Uh, and despite the tight fiscal environment, we believe that investing for the future growth we're confident the New Zealand economy will generate is vitally important. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Dr Nick Smith. What steps is the government taking to improve the quality of managing New Zealand's tens of billions of dollars that it has invested in that infrastructure? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, that's a good question because often the focus on infrastructure is about new projects, but of course most infrastructure uh, is already in existence and there are much larger efficiencies to be gained from managing the current infrastructure better uh, than there are from uh, better scrutiny of the new projects. In the 2011 plan, the government identified uh, six aspects of infrastructure management uh, that are important. Stronger investment analysis, increased resilience, clearer accountability for performance, broader funding mechanisms, consistent regulation and uh, better coordination. Uh, and we expect to be dealing uh, to be improving each of these aspects of, of the management of infrastructure. Probably uh, one of the challenges coming up is to increase resilience of infrastructure by dealing with new earthquake standards that may flow from the Royal Commission inquiry in Christchurch. Question number two on oh, supplementary question, Honourable David Parker. Uh, how does the Minister justify spending billions on projects with low benefit to cost ratios? at a time when he's having to borrow billions? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, the government's uh, not investing in uh, projects with uh, low benefit-to-cost ratios. Uh, if, the me if the member's referring to uh, roading investment, we are very pleased with the Roads of National Significance plan, which gives uh, both businesses, the public and the infrastructure industry the certainty that over the next 10 years we will be spending billions on upgrading our roads. Question number two, Holly Walker. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, order, point of order, Holly Walker. Mr Speaker, I seek leave for my question to be transferred to the Minister of Social Development.